Oh, really? Like, not, hard, not easy players. All right, looks like we're already getting into it. Uh, so one thing I remember uh, that I think it was the moon that did this like a while ago. Like, yeah. it's not just like your your standard grab pivot F smashes, but like lots of weak aerials at like 50 to 80 percent can just link into pivot F. Like right there, if you got like the perfect pivot after the uh, soft aerial, like you can if you can react to it and see it fast enough, you can like get a lot more pivot F smash confirms than just off of grabs. So yeah. I'm curious to see how much of those they'll get. Uh, I think he's probably one of the best pivoters. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. I don't think he has enough jumps to come back. Probably not. Yeah. Yeah. So, explosive start from Rishi. The MDBA is just so good at this matchup. Yeah. Yeah, they really are. Probably because of Jerry. Maybe. But, yeah. At least in part to Jerry. For sure. And then also just because of, like, how much him and Zayn labbed out. The like the matchup. theory crafting of it, yeah. Well, now, they've I, advanced this matchup a lot. Yeah, definitely. Now, I don't know if Rishi is at the same level as Zane is in this matchup. Yeah. But uh, I'm, sure I mean, that you know, I'm sure he knows the tech. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's yeah, hard we'll to be find... at that level, you know, of yeah. literally being hunting a box through one or whatever. But Zane did just lose them. Yeah, that's true. Yep. All right, so he can do it. Yeah, I think that one, was that a pivot or wave dash? I couldn't tell. That was tell. a pivot. Okay. But I know at that percent you can do either. That was a really good mix-up on his recovery. Yeah. And now, now he's, like, spamming some pairs, yeah. which he wasn't really doing earlier, so he's just, like, kind of peppering it in there as a neutral mix-up. Oh, wow, he, that was just insane. He's probably going to suicide down here. here. Yeah. He, oh, or he's just going to die. Not quite, not quite. <laughs> He messed that up. Yeah, for sure. It is. Ooh, that was very close, actually. But I wonder how he's gonna deal with Marth percent, Marth percent if he gets there. Going for F smash. I actually think that's like not that bad against Puff, because Puff so often will like want to be weaving like just outside of your fair range. His jump's can... gone. That's the stock. Yeah, that's, that's good. Yeah. So this is actually like not the best spot for Ishi, even though he's up 90 percent. So let's see how he handles this. Yeah, he could get, if he gets put off stage, he could, yeah. I mean, it, everyone says it, rest is on the table. Yep, yep. So, but that might, yeah. Wow, great. Him with the yeah, really said. good at sharking, uh, sharking puff, I've noticed, and like, also he has like really explosive weak bear combos, which is like, kind of like, yeah. Yeah, really good combos, hits his pivots, and really good at sharking. That's why I think, uh, you know, Rishi makes this matchup look really good for Mark. So now he's got to play on Dreamland. I mean, MDBA, usually the Marks all do very well on yeah. Dreamland. So, okay. I mean, there's this is not by any means just a free win for the pub. Right. Yeah. yeah. I remember uh, PPMD was quoted as saying that he thinks that Marth beats Puff harder than Fox beats Puff. I don't know if I agree with that. Yeah, but, but you know, that's that's PPMD. Yeah, the the idea is just basically that you know I, you're, you're faster on the ground. You're you know got yeah. bigger disjoint. Like, if someone wanted to make the argument that Marth does beat Puff, I could see it. Yeah. But I don't know if I, I don't know if Marth wins it very hard. Yeah, yeah, I definitely think it's a matchup where it is, like, I think, like, a lot easier for Puff just because of, like, how easy it is to punish. And oh, whereas that. Marth has to pivot forward smash, and if he misses that window, he has to, you know, yeah. win, like, 30 fairs to kill Puff. But I do think Marth wins it. Yeah, it's, I, I never can tell. You know, yeah. some days it looks like Marth wins it, some days it looks like Puff wins it. Yeah. All right, I don't think he has any jumps. That was, that was really smart. Yeah. yeah. We just kept him popped up. Yeah, sharking out the air dodge with another side B. Oh, wow. That, oh, that was if close. If he didn't check that, he could have been in a rest situation. Yeah, definitely. definitely. 
like it seems like Rishi's not really letting Abu like get his. That was own. very bad DI. Yeah. yeah. Besides, there like it seems like he's giving Abu room to even like get out and get his back airs in. Like most yeah. buffs will kind of like wave dash away and try to like space max strength, but he's just like not letting Puff get away from him. Yeah. This is a. He's he's in a pretty big hole right now. It's hard to come back against Puff on this stage. I mean, he could do it. If he gets a grab, he could get a tipper. And I really like his mix-ups when, like, they are at a distance, you know. He had that, like, weird late nair, and then, like, a rising fair, and then a fat S match out of yeah. nowhere, and that's going to kill right there. Okay, wow. So KO's off the top. Yeah, I, I think maybe a little better DI, DI would have worked, but uh, regardless. It's so hard to DI those grabs properly, though, because yeah. they're so fast. Yeah, plus it's also, you know, at some percent, a pure 50-50, too. Right. Right, he's still got his yeah, I'm definitely liking what I'm seeing out of like the drifting from uh, Rishi, and then he's also just throwing out F smash to neutral, which like, like again, I think this might be the one matchup where I actually think that's not bad. Right. Uh, just because Puff is like not necessarily like you know fast enough or you know able to get great punishes off. Of the so Rishi's crawled his way back into the lead. Yeah. Okay, well, now he does. He's jump strong. Yeah, or no, so, where did he get his back? I didn't see where he got it back. Yeah, I'm not sure. I thought he got hit before he was off stage. All right. But now he's done. But yeah, he's he's KO'd there. Uh, although this is definitely a kill for like you know one pivot F smash will right. do it. Uh, but if he gets too so, high of a percent, yeah, this is which like, he's getting close there. This is pretty much the end of the window right here. Right. If he can't get it here, he well he can get a straight F smash. Yeah, but I think he's out of range for it now. Yeah. Probably. Ooh, that up there was scary. All right. Yeah. He did. He did the wave dash one that time. It's gonna be a lot harder now. Yeah. The F throw wave dash F smash is like the one that lasts the highest percent. Yeah. So uh, at that point, Abu wants to just DI away instead of you know, because down throw will never really. There's the stop. Okay. Right. Wow. Actually did really well. Like only took about 10, 15 percent, uh, closing out that stock. And oh, he missed oh, it. Oh. Okay. Doesn't go for down air grab. Just too much. He just down airs him a few yeah. times. That's a lot of percent off that rest. Yeah, definitely. This is that. If he gets a grab or just a straight tipper, that was literally like one or two more percent, and that would have been it. That rest cost the boot a game, or may have cost a game. May have, have yeah. It's so still a really dicey position because now he's at like that awkward percentage. Uh, I think Rishi's been like really creative, and oh, this might be it. Nope. He di'd it correctly. Yeah. Yeah, again, yeah, once you get to a certain percent, just DI full away. Down throw won't work past, like, 90. Uh, but Rishi's been really creative with how he finds his endings. Like, most Mars will kind of spam side B here. Like, you know, he, uh, he's pretty good at sharking for the right heads. Ooh, and that's wave it. Land, wait, or, he's really good at that wave land on uh, up tilt. Yeah. He's partially invincible. Uh, oh, really? Okay. He's getting it like frame perfect. It's yeah. not fully invincible, but yeah, the it, range on it's so big that it, okay. it's so hard to get into it. Right, so I thought it was frame five. I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to forget now too, so. But that's Rishi taking the Dreamland game. Yeah. That's, uh, that's really big. Taking the Dreamland game against Puff in almost any matchup is a big deal. Yeah, definitely. And the way that he did it too, it didn't feel like fluky, like he didn't really get that many like really low percentage kills, he's like he really had to earn each kill too. Not like game one. Game one no. he got a few. Yeah, with definitely. Those down airs. He was ready for that roll. Although, yeah, that rest was a little bit unfortunate from uh, Abu, but besides that, Rishi, Rishi really had to earn like every one of his socks. Right. Uh, Okay. Catches him without a jump there. Yep. Gets a really early kill. So I wonder if Rishi has, done, uh, has like practiced the dash grab range where you can actually grab Puff out of her crouch. Oh yeah, during the breathing animation. Yeah. <laughs> if anyone will have, it would have been him and Zane. <laughs> so that barely KO'd that tipper. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Didn't quite get up there in time to try to punish the tech chase with the rest. Uh, yeah. 
Let's see how, how well Abu can shark now that he has a position. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't get that much off of it. He's generally not been getting a ton. That well, wave dash is very clean. And he covers the tech in. More of a read, I'd say, too. Really, really nice. Okay. Maybe wanted to short hop up there and there for the tipper. But regardless, pretty pretty quick. Works out. I always like that. Because uh, Martha has such a, like, a long threat, threat range from the ledge that if you just wave land onto like the very edge, oftentimes it just gets you back on the stage for free. Yeah. And Abu just up smashes inside of him. Yeah. Yeah, Rishi's really good at getting out of like the corner or like any pressure situation against Puff. It's really hard sometimes. Yeah, his movement is really what's giving him that. How how clean his ledge and wave dashes have been. Yeah, I agree. But it just gives you So he's gonna be. He's probably just fishing for side B. Oh wow, that was perfectly spaced. Yep. Two in a row. Yeah, I mean he can tipper. If you tipper a shield, generally it's unpunishable just to, as long as you get the full tipper. So. That was really smart. Yeah, that was. That, the DI mix up to the up air. And that, I don't think that would have killed if he went on top platform. Uh -huh. Oh, he knew not able to punish off the weak down tilt at zero, definitely not safe. So He knew exactly when to get out of there, though. As soon as he got those hits, he ran out. Yeah, yeah. Although I think, uh, I think Boo should be able to punish there, regardless. Okay, good hedgehog. So, he's on... This is a booze game to lose at this point, because he can just... He can take this as slow as he wants. Yeah. But he can't let openings like this happen. That might have KO'd if that had tippered. Maybe. It's, it's stronger than Fox's up smash. Yeah, it's always surprising when it KO's, so it's possible. Looked like it almost it, could have been a rest. It looked like it could have been. Yeah, I think he messed up there. Yeah. All right. He and didn't have to walk forward smash. That's actually very interesting. Yeah. I guess if that can work, why not? It's way easier. Yeah. Good F throw, but he gets the slide off too. That's oh, it. His really jump is gone. Jump. Yeah. But uh, regardless, you know, it took him two games to win on his counter pick, so now. Now he's got either FD or, or Yoshi's. Yeah. I can see Rishi being an FD mark, but I still think Yoshi's is probably the best stage. Like, Rishi does seem like an FD type of mark, but Yoshi's is just too good. Yeah, you, they die so early to everything. Yeah. I mean, those tippers are going to start KOing at like 60 to 70%. Yeah, and even early on bad DI. Yeah, die at 30 on bad DI. Yeah. Just catch like a drifty, drift away a neutral, yeah, easily kill him at 30. Oh, missed just his spacing there. Definitely, you know, okay. Went for the wave dash there. Uh, wow, gets the reverse, reverse tipper. Pretty crazy. <laughs> it's pretty rare you see that kind of hit. Oh, yeah. That was a good early up beat. Oh, uh, tricky wave line, but Puff's at such a low percent that it's really not going to matter. But in general, as soon as Rishi gets a hit, he's so good at uh, just like continuing to abuse stage position. Like if Puff's ever, oh my god, that was clean. But if he can ever get Puff above him, he's so good at like punishing that. Yeah, that almost KO. Yeah. Wow. I, I really like that idea. Yeah. yeah. He might have been able to up tilt that, but he knows better than I do. Yeah, I think it's because like uh, Abu crouch canceled the first one, then he yeah. threw out the second one. Probably right. A tipper here, probably any kind of. Oh wow, that was not good DI. Um, but he not. missed the back air, so he's back. Yeah, I think Abu's edge guarding could be a little better. I think that's been costing him a lot this set. But Rishi is up. But yeah, Rishi's obviously recovering very well too, so you gotta give him credit. That might KO, yeah. yeah. Tight battle, all things considered, even though Rishi's looked pretty good this set. That, I could have sworn that, that could have been rested. But. Yeah, and that downer was so risky. Let's see. Man, okay, see, well, I, he didn't I, have enough time to rest. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, like. 
like in those positions, Ibushi was getting way more. But okay, didn't actually need to pivot at all there, just like a regular F smash with a tipper. But yeah. misjudged the uh, spacing. But a grab right now will set up for a uh, tipper combo. Yep. Good recovery. And then again, I think Abu needs to be doing that, uh, what Hungerbox does, where you kind of just like jump backwards at the perfect time so you never get hit by Mark up B. That early up B was very smart. Yes, yeah. So that, that, yeah, so that's I, one of the weird times where it had the regular slash sound, yeah. but it was a tipper hit. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I always love those. Last stock. Yeah, Abu keeping it very, very close on this counter pick. Uh, just been able to find really early KOs of his own on Mark. Yeah. Okay. All right, this could be it. Oh, oh he doesn't get the, He tried to mix him up with that chain grab. Yeah, that, oh my god, that could have been... These all Abu is not getting any rests, even yeah. though he could be. Maybe after he missed that one on Dreamline, he's a little... You, that's true. ...to go for it. Uh, he ate a lot of percent for that. Yeah, maybe just not confident in it, but regardless... Uh, the blue, all right, let's see if Rishi can hold stage here. He's been doing really well with it up to this point. Yeah, one more of those up smashes, or forward smashes, I think yeah, will do if he gets a tipper up air, tipper fair even maybe at this point will kill. That's it. There we go. Rishi will take it, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if we have any more matches over here or not. 